What's up guys? Badger One here, Badger Team. It's been over a year since I've posted anything, put anything up on the channel. Um, this video is really for Badger Two who wanted to see um, IL-2 Stromovic. Um, I got a couple of additions uh, over the holiday, uh, Battle of Baden Platt and then uh, Great Battles. Um, the base game is Battle of Stalingrad. Um, but this is uh, pretty much the, other than DCS World, this is pretty much the end all of, uh, of Flight Sims for me. It's, uh, it's a really beautiful game. Um, the mechanics and everything of it are just enough for my skill level. Uh, not as complicated as DCS World where you have to manipulate every control on the cockpit, but um, still allows you... Uh, quite a bit of freedom in customizing the way that the game plays and um, flight mechanics and that kind of thing. Um, but it's a it's a gorgeous flight sim, uh, and so I told uh, Badger Two uh, Rick that I would get some gameplay video up for you, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, thinking about playing it, um, so I'll just run you through a little demo, show some of the aircraft and. Uh, get up in the sky and fly around a little bit so you can see some of these models because they really are pretty impressive. Um, so um, this is the load screen hangar. Um, over here to the right you can see I've got quick missions, uh, scripted missions, you can do pilot careers, individual missions. Uh, there's also a multiplayer where you can uh, dogfight other players online. Um, flight records are from uh, all of my uh, campaign pilots that I have. Uh, so you can see your air-to-air -air kills, uh, air-to-ground kills, uh, the aircraft that you've flown, and that kind of thing. Um, but let's just jump right in uh, and go to the quick mission screen. Um, right at the start, you get an overall um, map of the area of operations, which you can change up here in the top right corner. So um, you can fly in any of these theaters at any time of the year. Um, so you want to do uh, Rhineland in the summer, and with each one of these, uh, it opens up um, different uh, maps of different theaters of operations. Um, these little markers here show air bases, um, American, British, and then these bigger circles with the um, little tank icons, uh, aircraft icons, and stuff inside them. Uh, those are actually selectable missions that you can that you can fly in that little bitty zone of operations right there. Um, so for now, let's just do a uh, just a single flight. Um, select some ground targets here. Let's do uh, yeah. We'll leave it on ships, trains, and vehicles for now. Um, over here, you can choose your aircraft. Uh, you can select by allies or axis, so you don't have to fly um, just allied aircraft. You can have access to the Axis uh, aircraft as well. Uh, so here's allies. Um, we've got a couple of Russian uh, birds right here. Uh, P-47, P-51, um, the Spitfire and the Tempest. Uh, all four of these aircraft came with uh, Battle of Baden Platt. Um, and then with each one of these uh, planes, should you choose them, and you go to uh, start um, so we're going to fly in this area of operations here, just a single plane, which will be me. Um, this kind of gives you some freedom to fly around uh, without constantly being harassed by enemy fighters and stuff. So I can kind of show you all the graphics of the game and whatnot with this load. Um, you can customize each aircraft, um, complete with nose art. Um, air-to-air -air loadouts and air-to-ground loadouts. You can pick uh, whatever historically uh, accurate loadout that you want. I'll show you all that screen in just a second. IL-2 Stromovic does come with a tank combat simulator built into it, so uh, if you ever get tired of flying around and you want to um, go at each other with, uh, with tanks, you can do that. Um, I think the two tanks that I have available right now are just uh, Panzer One and a T-34. I think it's a T-34-76, a 76 millimeter gun. It's taking forever to load. 
this game is really graphically intense. Um, I've got kind of a high-end machine, but even then, it pulls it a little bit. I've got all the graphics on this set to Ultra. I get a load, dude. Come on. Good grief. Oh, this thing's taking forever to load. Come on, we can do it. There we go. All right, so this is just your pre-mission briefing. Uh, weather's clear. The turbulence practice mission. This is air start, so we will be starting in the air rather than on the ground. Um, but you can come down here to um, do one setup. Um, and come into the uh, the paint scheme. Uh, I have all of these different paint schemes preloaded. Um, there are quite a few more. Um, uh, several websites that I go to to get skins for my planes. Uh, one of them is Mission for Today. Um, and they've got it for the entire Stromovic series. Uh, as well as 1946 and a bunch of other flight sims. Uh, you can see in the background that the skin's changing on the plane. Lollipoop is probably my favorite. Um, yeah, like I said, you can change the uh, modification. So you can come in here and uh, so if you were going after trains or ships or anti-tank or whatever you were going to do, you could configure your loadout. Um, based on this, add a gyro gun sight. Um, you can put a mirror on top of your canopy if you want. So let's do those couple of features and so you can see it. Put the little mirror up here. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. And Get in the air. So it's going to start you out on a pause screen, which is always nice. So uh, this is the screen paused. Um, I do have the HUD turned on a little bit, so I don't have to constantly continue to look down into the cockpit to see my instruments. I've got them all displayed on the bottom left-hand corner of my screen. Um, just basic stuff, uh, my orientation, altitude, and airspeed, uh, and then how much ammo I've got in my guns. So.
have a small tactical map over here. Bottom right hand corner of the screen that you can also hit in. Just load that a little bit. So you can kind of see there's some trucks on the ground and a train. Let's so see if we can find the train. So you can see the black icon is yourself kind of oriented. Take up 
the different aircraft. The Spitfire is really pretty. We'll do it next. Show you some of the Axis aircraft. It's got an ME262, Stuka, F190, and then there's about three or four different versions of BF109. Let's fly the Spitfire. Let's do. So we're actually going to dogfight in this one. Chosen an enemy. BF-109, BF F-4. It's taking a really long time to load this. So this modification, we're going to go strictly guns. So we've got uh, two 50 cals and then we've got two uh, Mark II 20 millimeter guns. So we're actually after an enemy plane in this one, so I'm going to have to be a little more careful. Here we go.
Leader, search for enemy aircraft. Free to engage. Out. A call. Leader, search for enemy aircraft. Free to engage. Out. So I've got the attackers on waves, so after this first one, about 10 seconds and another one will spawn. Seriously gonna adjust my graphics. So that's Isle Tustamovic. Um, I said you can do uh, scripted campaigns. You can start a pilot career, um, either Allied or uh, American. You can even pick your squadron that you want to fly out of. Um, <laughs> these are the two guys that I've played before. Um, I got shot down behind enemy lines on both, and so their careers ended. But, uh... Anyway, overall, really, really solid game. Uh, hours and hours of uh, flying spent in this game. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Rick, that was for you, and uh, let me know, man, if you get this game. Uh, I'd love to dogfight you sometime. It'd be pretty cool. Um... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, get some more videos up. Try not to make it be a year next time. Thanks for watching.